Saved at last, December 28th. God has always chosen extremities when there seem to be no possible chance uh, for deliverance. Uh, understand that God always comes true for his children. It is at midnight that God will manifest his power against the enemy and come to deliver his children. The sun will appear shining in all its strength. A signs and wonders will follow in quick succession. The wicked will look with terror and amazement upon the scene, while the righteous or God's children will behold with solemn joy the tokens of their deliverance. Everything in nature will seem to turn out of its course. Imagine the streams will cease to flow. A dark, heavy clouds will come up and clash against each other. In the midst of the angry heavens is one clear space, indescribable glory. And from this space will come a voice and will come some words. What would be declared? Revelation 16, 17 tells us what would be declared is it is done. But let's consider what the Bible says in the book of Job, chapter 34 and verse 20. Look what the Bible says. In a moment shall they, talking about the wicked, die. And the people shall be troubled at midnight and pass away. And the mighty shall be taken away without hands. Our Lord will come. And at midnight when he comes, uh, when the heavens roll back, that will signal the deliverance of God's people. All those who would have endured affliction will be saved. All those who may have died in the Lord with arthritis and cancer will resurrect with newness of life. This mortal shall put on immortality. Understand that God's saints will look towards uh, this moment when Christ will come. You may be wondering today how you will appreciate the second coming and not be afraid. It is simple. Live for Jesus now. As you live for him now, you will be able to appreciate him then. Why not trust his word today? Let us ask God for that power to live for him now. Father in heaven, we pray because we know that you are the source of power. We pray, O oh God, that you will grant us that power to live for you now. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember, my dear friends, the power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay.